Few things are more critical to the engagement and retention of our people than recognition. However, many leaders fall into the trap of thinking that handing out gift cards or giving out awards once a year is what people really care about when it's not. So in this video, I'm explaining where you want to focus your time as a leader to have the biggest impact on people's engagement and retention. Hi, I'm Chris Littlefield. I have spent over 15 years training leaders at top companies around the world in the art of recognition and engagement. Now, the first thing that I do in my workshops is help people update what I see is a major terminology problem. Because many leaders fall into the trap of thinking that rewards like gift cards and awards like plaques and trophies and all the other stuff are recognition, when in fact, they're not recognition in and of themselves, but they're a delivery tool for a message. So in my work, I introduce people to what I call the inverted pyramid of importance. Now at the top of that pyramid is appreciating the person. These are the little things that we do every day to signal to people that we value who they are, what they contribute, and what it takes to their job each day. This is saying good morning, goodbye at the end of the day, asking about somebody's sick kid, laughing about things that happen on the weekend. Those things that we do that just signal to people that we see who they are and what they contribute every day. Now next on the pyramid is acknowledging the circumstances. This is sending signals to your people that you understand the circumstances in which they're working it. Thanks for coming in when it's really hot outside, when it's really cold outside. Uh, thank you for working all this extra work when we're down people right now and I know you're covering extra shifts and letting people know that you see what they're facing and that you're there to support them in navigating it. Next is recognizing effort in progress. Now many people fall into the trap of thinking that we're only going to recognize people when they produce a result but I want you to imagine for a second that you're a player on a basketball court or on a football field and everybody's up in the stands watching you play and they're only going to cheer or celebrate when you actually win. How do you think that would impact your motivation to keep on playing as hard as you can? So this is why we want to be recognizing people's effort and progress along the way. Next we come down to rewarding results. So when somebody does hit their numbers or surpass their numbers or does really great work on something then sometimes we want to give them a little reward whether that's a gift card, whether that's point in our employee recognition system or inviting them to a meeting with the boss, we do want to reward them for the results they produce so they continue to produce those results in the future. And last is awarding standout results. So if somebody in your team goes way above and beyond, if they close a massive sale in the biggest one in your department, or they do something that completely embodies your company values and gets you press out there that makes a huge difference, then you want to award those standout results. And you may do this by holding an event, by giving them a special plaque, acknowledging them in a town hall meeting, but doing something to award them for the standout results that they produce and using that as an example to show other people what standout results look like. And the goal of all of these is to let your people know you value them. And the best part is appreciation, acknowledgement, and recognition cost nothing, take seconds, but will make a world of difference for the engagement and retention of your staff. So what are you going to do today to appreciate your people?